do 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 with this to Greg! Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how you can draw a really neat picture of Snoopy and his friend Woodstock. And there's going to be a tree right here and Snoopy and Woodstock. Okay, so we'll start out with some simple shapes. This is going to be what the tree lives on. It's a little angled line that goes around and back. And to make it look like it's thick, I'm going to put some lines down like that and down like that and then connect those. So you can see it kind of makes it 3D or look like it's coming off. We'll do another one right here. And then have that go through like that. So it looks like it's underneath of the other one. Then we'll put a line and a line. And then again, we're going to make it look like it's 3D by dropping a few lines down and then lining them up like that. Now it looks like a platform or something that's above the ground. Okay, now the tree. The tree is a real crooked looking line. <laughs> Because they call this a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. If you ever buy a Christmas tree that just isn't quite right, uh, it's named after this. Charlie Brown Christmas trees just didn't quite look right, but he still loved him. Uh, loved his tree just like uh, Woodstock and Snoopy loved to be around those trees <laughs> looks good just a couple little lines here and there okay starting to look like a Charlie Brown tree There's some more pine needles a couple more on this one okay so if all you were gonna do is draw the Charlie Brown Christmas tree, you'd be done right now, but let's go on to the fun part, drawing our buddy Snoopy, and he's gonna be right here, okay? So we'll put uh, his nose or his big uh, nose right there. It's going to start like this and come down towards the Christmas tree and start curving back and stop okay then we'll put in his little smile and his nose which his nose will be down here <laughs> oh goodness it doesn't look exactly like it, but it's okay. And then we'll put on his little eye. Now, his hat. His hat and this picture is going to be like this. It's going to go back. And then it's going to go and kind of bump around and stop and then kind of angle down like that <laughs> and then we'll do this and you can see it's starting to look like a hat and Snoopy there's a little pom-pom at the end and then um, his ear. Now, if you've ever seen any of the 
Charles Schultzer, the guy who created Snoopy. If you've ever seen his drawings, he doesn't color in everything. He kind of leaves some of it a little bit white. So I'm leaving some areas of white. From his ear, we're going to come forward. And that'll create his neck. And then we'll put on his little collar. <laughs> his belly is pretty big. His belly's gonna come down like this. So we'll go like this. And around. <laughs> and then he has two feet. So gotta put it on the legs. One leg will be there. And it'll go out and around. And his other leg will be right here. And that will go also out and around. And then I'm going to uh, draw the back of him. So this line comes down. And then right there. <laughs> Yay, this looks good. And then down, and then we're going to put a little heel on his foot. And his little arm is right here. And you're gonna put on a couple little fingers or part of his paw. And then his tail is right here. And you can put on some shadow there, a little bit. And he's got a curving line on his foot here, and a curving, two curving lines right here and here. Okay, so Snoopy looks pretty good. Extend that line a little bit. Oh, that looks like Snoopy. Now we're going to uh, do a couple more things. Over here will be Woodstock. He's a bit shorter. He'll be like that tall. And then we'll put a star up here to finish it off. Okay? So Woodstock is going to be somewhere in this area. Again, just like I started with Snoopy's nose, I'm going to start with Woodstock's nose. And he's kind of looking up that is pal Snoopy. He has a smile just like Snoopy did. And he has a little eye. It looks like his, <laughs> they're both kind of shut. Their eyes are both shut. All right, I'm going to put on his big belly. He has a big belly too. And then I'm going to put on his hat. His hat lives right here. And it's just a curved line with two flat ends to it. Now, the back of Woodstock's hat, uh, underneath of it, there's a couple lines for his feathers. Then I'll come down like this for the back of his body. And then his tail is sort of like this when he's standing. When he's sitting, his tail's sort of like this, but when he's standing, it's a little wider. And then we're gonna put on his feet, and his feet are the same kind of foot as this. They go back, and they go forward, and then they go up. Same thing happens with the other one. Down, forward, and back. You can see there's two feet there. <laughs> now as far as his feathers on his wings go, you could just put a couple little lines and that'll look good enough. All right, his hat is really big. It comes way down here. So put the ball or the um, a little pom-pom on first and then we'll work our way up so this line kind of goes like that 
And then the other one is kind of long and wiggly, and it goes like that. All right, we saved the hardest part for last, the star. Stars can be tough, so watch. This is a little tough. Give yourself some space. We're going to do rounded V shapes. There's the first rounded V shape. Over here, we're gonna do one that goes out, around and back. Notice it lines up with this. This one will line up and finish right about here. Okay, so out, round off, and back. All right, you know we only have two lines to go. One. You can see it's starting to look like a star. Two. Okay. Well, I hope you had fun drawing this. I'm going to go ahead and put in a little ground. And uh, if you would like to add more details, like, I don't know, um, geez, stars, there could be all kinds of things happening in the sky. But you can choose where you want them to be. Maybe they're inside, maybe they're outside. You decide. You're the artist here. After you've drawn it, you can make it your own way. I'm going to spend some time coloring it in. And uh, I hope you have fun. And I'll see you on the next video.